Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Really glad you popped by. I really do appreciate your visit here. And whilst you're here, if you thought this video was okay, at least okay, why not hit that like button? And uh, don't forget to whack that subscribe button and notification bell too. Because every, every view, like, sub, etc, etc, really does count. And I really do appreciate all your support. So, um, with today's video, we've got a little something different for you. We're going to have a little chat about these new PlayStation Plus packages. You know, how much are they? Uh, what you get in and how to compare against that other one you know the one I'm talking about Xbox Game Pass so without further ado let's take a look at each of these new PlayStation Plus packages now first off we got PlayStation Plus essential package which is pretty much what regular PlayStation Plus is today as far as I'm aware so if you currently have a PlayStation Plus subscription this is just going to transition to what the new PlayStation Plus Essential will be. Uh, the year, monthly and yearly prices will be the same, so there's no change there. They're going to be at £6.99, €8.99 Euros, and $9.99 monthly. And uh, you can play from a year as well. It's going to be uh, £49.99. Um, 59.99 euros and 59.99 dollars and uh, that's for the year that's for the uh, playstation plus essential package and uh, the next tier up you got the playstation plus extra package uh, this is this essentially combines the pre-existing playstation plus and playstation now services under one roof with the added bonus it now includes ps5 tiles this this catalogue is said to reach up to about 400 PS5, PS4 games. All of them will be downloadable. And just below, it says at launch lineup you're going to get, uh, well, it's going to include Death Stranding, God of War, Spider Man, Spider Man Miles Morales, Mortal Kombat 11, and The Returnal, amongst many others. I'm unsure what that means. Does it mean other PS5 games or PS4 games, who knows? Um, I guess time will tell, I suppose. Um, so prices for this uh, mid-tier subscription, uh, £10.99, €13.99 or $14.99. That's, uh, that's per month. And also you can pay for, there's an option to pay for it for a year if you want to. And uh, that's £83.99. It's 99.99 euro. Well, 90, well, I'm messing up here. Hang on, can't read it right. 99.99 euros, and it's exactly the same dollars. 99 dollars 99, and that's for the year. Now you've got a third tier. This is supposed to be the uh, this is supposed to be the Game Pass rival, PlayStation Plus Premium. So with this service, you get all what you would get with the other two services above. Plus, the ability to stream PlayStation 3 games to your console. Um, also, the catalog will extend to PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation Portable titles, which will be downloadable. And this list is said to reach about 340 games. Uh, I've not seen if any games will be added to this list over time. And if any of these games will be enhanced anyway, um, you know, upscaled, like, uh, you know, giving a FPS boost, you know, like, or maybe even upscale to 4K, etc. Oh, and also, this service, you will also get some game trials, like um, trialing out some like demos and that of new games. And uh, the price of this tier is uh, £13.49. Uh, 16.99 euros and 17.99 that's a month and if you want to fork out for a whole year you know subscribe into this tier it's going to be 99 pound 99 um 119.99 euros and 100 119.99 so guys my thoughts my opinions on these three tiers 
I think the standout here is there's no big AAA day one releases. And I think Jim Ryan has already said, you know, Sony's chief exec, he's already, he's already confirmed in a statement there's going to be no current plan to add any day one PS5 releases in the future. It's a bit of a bummer. It's a bit of a missed opportunity, I think, to uh, draw people in who already own a PS5. Because I think that, you know, the launch lineup, it's listed on the PS Plus Extra package. I think most PS5 owners would have already, at some point, already played those games. So uh, I don't know what other incentive they would have to upgrade to the uh, extra package. Assuming they already got a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you know, they're already a PS Plus su subscriber. Yeah, to upgrade to the uh, third tier is a bit of a strange one. Um, I thought it's pack, you know, the third tier, the most expensive one. I thought it's package would uh, have included a bit more PS5 content. You know, maybe this would have included, you know, even if it wasn't going to add day one releases, then they might have had some more, you know, more recent PS5 releases in this library, you know, to entice, entice people towards this package. But just to add the ability to play older console games is a bit of an arse backwards if you ask me and uh, you know just streaming PS3 games when they probably could have put the ability to download them and play them without you know streaming them because with, with latency and that um, could be a problem I mean I, I mean I currently don't own a PS5 but I've still got my PS4 Pro it still gets a good amount of use nearly as much as my Series X but uh, I have a PS4 plus subscription it's paid up and runs until 2024 so I've still got another two and a half years to run on this subscription at the moment so it'll be interesting to know you know if it could be easy upgraded to one of the upper tiers and there's not been much detail around you know about this so we're gonna have to keep our eye on that one you know see if there's any uh, information on upgrading I haven't found any yet you know I think one day maybe take a year maybe even two years there might be some chance change of tone or chance of uh, some day one releases you know may start to appear on one of these services because at the moment I don't see it's as it stands out it isn't comparable to what you get on the Xbox Game Pass I mean this this seems on a, another level of uh, value really <laughs> well just, that's just my opinion so yeah I'd love to hear your, th your thoughts guys uh, you know if you're already sold on this so you're going to sit on the fence for a while see how it uh, pans out you know, see what you actually get for your subscription yeah yeah please let me know in the comments below also let me know your thoughts on this video how it went it's the first video done like this so I might make an opinion video kind of video you know uh, I might do a few more in future sometime you never know so yeah just let me know your thoughts on that anyway with that said hope you have a good day and hopefully tune into a future video so I will uh, I will see you soon